thought with this cover was to create something iconic, to celebrate outdoor life's return to an illustration, to not only create an engaging, uh, exciting piece of fine art, but also a composition that turns heads as a magazine cover. My process on this painting started with a detailed sketch of the buck in the background. And once I was satisfied with the anatomy, the composition, and the overall dynamics of the image, I put my first brush to the canvas with a wash of burnt sienna and terra verde. This step is really clutch for me because it helps me to loosen up, uh, to put some color on the canvas, to tone the canvas, and it really helps me tackle that intimidating sight of a stark white canvas like a writer's block. I try to paint my backgrounds very loosely and my animals very tightly. I want the viewer to lock in on this buck the same way that they would if they were watching this scene unfold right in front of them. And if you look carefully at the edges of the buck, wherever he's dark in shadow, I've painted the background light, and wherever he's highlighted, I've painted the background dark. This high contrast, the hard edges, the sense of motion and the dynamics of the image, those are the artistic elements that help focus the viewer on the deer. I want to remind you why you love the outdoor life. My name is Ryan Kirby and I'm a wildlife artist.